Comics Gate, Indiegogo. A lot of people think that the two are synonymous with each other, and that anyone who starts a campaign on Indiegogo must therefore identify with Comics Gate. Never mind the fact that Indiegogo does crowdfund other campaigns that have absolutely nothing to do with comics. I mean, really, what are the rules behind that? But let's take a step back and analyze. Why do comic skaters start their campaigns on Indiegogo? Well, the most prominent alternative is Kickstarter. And Kickstarter was doing something a little bit funny. They decided that they would do checks on the people running campaigns and then ban their campaigns based on their behavior outside of the platform. Which I feel like most people would agree is not acceptable. You don't get to enforce your rules on your platform outside of that platform. If I go over Susie's house and her rules are to take off your shoes when you enter, I'll take off my shoes when I enter her house. Of course, I want to be respectable. But if I then go home and don't take off my shoes and she decides I can't come to her house anymore because I didn't take off my shoes, in my own house, then Susie is being a little cunt, isn't she? Which brings me to this conversation that was started by Joe Glass. Now this full-time Twitter user, part-time writer, limits the amount of people who can actually see his tweets, but that doesn't actually stop what he says from being public. But I think the point is he didn't want to be challenged by what he said, not so much that he didn't want anyone to see it. Rather, he didn't want certain people replying to it. Which is clearly not good for your mental health, which is why I'm doing this community service by replying to his tweets. Here he says, Ah, so big name comic creator is launching his Indiegogo campaign to attract the CG masses this week, huh? It amazes me that people still don't know who this guy is. It's the same guy flirting with the CO mix hate every time. He been telling you who he is if you just keep your eyes peeled. So obviously this C0 mix hate is supposed to be a parody on the comics gate community, which he uses the acronym for up here as CG. Now, if you want to start calling them comics hate as opposed to their original name, I only have one nitpick. Shouldn't this acronym become CH? If you still use the acronym CG while you call them comics hate, you're just being inconsistent. Also, the zero and the X serve no purpose in this parody. But as to be expected of someone who limits who can see their tweets, there are a bunch of replies, for the most part, agreeing with what he said. And you see, now he's using comic state, which is neither CG or CH. Now, the person that they are referring to, the big name comic creator who's launching their Indiegogo, is none other than Sean Gordon Murphy, who unveiled this cover on his Twitter and announced that next week he would be starting his Indiegogo campaign. Their reaction to this is, how can you start an Indiegogo campaign? That's what Comicsgate does. Now, this is not the first time they've criticized Sean Gordon Murphy for doing something similar to what a Comicsgator does. You may also remember that one time where Sean made a tweet saying that good customer service was important. But he's not allowed to say that because comic skaters also say that. You see, when comic skate does something, you must do the opposite of that, otherwise you're complicit. So if comic skaters treat their customers well, you need to treat your customers poorly. If comic skaters use the Indiegogo platform you need to use Kickstarter. You know something, guys? I saw a comic skater eating yesterday. I think I think we need to stop eating now because I don't want to be aligned with comic skate. If they're doing it, I need to stop. I need to I need to do the opposite of eating. I need to actually vomit my food back up because I don't I don't want to be aligned with comic skate. I also saw a comic skater breathing. I, I'm gonna need to stop breathing so I don't accidentally align myself with comic skate. Also, Sean Gordon Murphy was apparently friends with someone who was Christian, and he tried to help him promote his comic. That's a big no-no. You should know to judge people based on their religion, Sean. Max Passaggio, another prominent comics creator, replied to this sharing her own experiences with Sean Gordon Murphy. Here she says, He absolutely knows. He and I had a long conversation ages ago about this in DMs. I know people had been saying shit about him for a long time, but he was always supportive and kind with me, and I felt for his defenses over and over again. But when he claimed he had no idea about Doug this time, after he had already told me in a private 
he had cut off his personal relationship with Tenaple as a result of our discussion. I was so eager to believe this famous comics guy was my friend that I let shit slide, gave him the benefit of every doubt, defended him over and over again. Wait, 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 wait. You, you private messaged this guy, demanded that he cut off his professional relationship with someone just because you don't like them? Hold up, what do you think? Sean is your slave? You get to order him around? Otherwise you're not friends anymore? Yeah, it was the last time claiming he didn't know about Doug. The first thing I thought was bullshit, not just because everyone let him know last time, but because he'd specifically had a talk with you. I realized then that it was a ploy. I'm sorry he used you. Used her for what? <laughs> what did she do for him? Me too. I'm still really angry and really hurt. She's clearly the victim in this. It's hard for people like us who want to see the good in people and give people the benefit of the doubt. Except for Doug. <laughs> Fuck Doug. <laughs> He's a bad guy. Unfortunately, there are those out there who will take advantage of us for it. Murphy showed his true colors. Why are you using the British spelling of colors? That being said, it's not worth losing hope in people. Except for Doug. And now Sean. And you know, everybody else who starts a campaign on Indiegogo. All of them, we've lost hope in all of them. They're not our friends anymore. There's no good in them. Fuck all those people. And then Kwanzer just responds at the bottom of this long thread like, yep to all of this. I agree. It's also a sad reflection of margins in comics being so thin for freelancers that even a big name will see a hack raking in cash and get dollar signs in their eyes. Since when was this about margins in comics for freelancers? Guys, I think Kwanzer wants a raise. Can we get on that? Let's wrap up this video. My point is, just because you work with a Christian who, shockingly, has Christian beliefs, who would have guessed that, doesn't mean you're a bigot. Doesn't even mean that you agree with them about their beliefs. It's a crazy thing, but you can actually be friends with someone without being exactly like them. And stop with the dog whistle argument. Saying good customer service is important is not aligning yourself with CG. It's stating a fact. Starting your campaign on Indiegogo does not make you CG. There are probably a lot of reasons to start your campaign on Indiegogo. And there are a lot of people on here who aren't Comicsgate. Things are not just black and white, this means this, that means that. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. So for God's sake, people, do what you want. Be your own person. And if your friends talk about you behind your back and try to claim that you're part of the hate movement, chances are they're not your friends. Well, that's just me. Comment down below your own thoughts. That's what the comment section is for. Remember to like the video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Program restart.